Okay, so let's uh, see what's going on with this texture ring and let's see how we can fix it. So if we come back to this texture, uh, what we're going to do is duplicate it uh, so that we don't make any changes to this, uh, which is perfect. Uh, so let's go back to the material, hit this number here to make a duplicate of the texture. Now we need to look at the mask that we're using. You can see how the gradient is working uh, here. Uh, it's not facing the right direction or it's not working as we expect it to work. So what we can do, uh, but uh, for this for this log, one of the gradient is working correctly. So let's make another material. We're going to make two materials. So this is one. We also need to make another copy. So each wall, each wall that is for uh, facing a different direction direction should use a different material so that the gradient is facing at uh, the right the gradients are facing the right direction. So this will be direction direction one, and this should be direction two. Uh, but uh, when we uh, this will not matter uh, after we bake the materials. I uh, will just delete all these materials and stick with and only utilize one material after we bake. So this is just uh, so that we set up the materials and then baking will make sure that uh, it doesn't matter what wall we're looking at. Uh, they can all use the same material. So this wall here should be assigned to the first material and this wall here should be assigned to the second material because it's facing the opposite direction. And uh, if we look at textures, uh, preview this, you can see that uh, this gradient is not uh, facing correctly. Let me read this. Which one is it? So where are the gradients? We have these two gradients. We have this. Uh, this is a bit confusing. Uh, for now, let's let me first remove uh, this texture here, uh, this material here, and see that I only preview this. So this object here, uh, this wall here, has the right gradient for this side. Uh, its gradient is facing the right direction, uh, but this gradient, uh, the second gradient is not. So let's try flipping this, flipping this, and see uh, the gradient is going too far this side, so we need to pull it back just a bit. Something like that. And if we preview this, preview this. I think same with this. Uh, we need to flip uh, this gradient yeah it should look like that now if we preview our shader you can see that uh, you're getting almost exactly what uh, we're going for, uh, for this log. Uh, so we need to work on this other log. So let's assign this direction to. So you can see that uh, the gradients are facing the wrong direction. We need to flip them using our texture coordinates. So I'll add texture coordinates here. I think we need to rotate this 
in the z direction 90 degrees z let's first preview only this gradient here to rotate this yeah it needs to be rotated 90 degrees now we just need to bring back let's try inverting flipping the gradient again flip and we just Now, an easier way, let me first apply the rotation. An easier way to, to check the direction of the gradient is by adding a cube like this and then applying the same material and then seeing uh, the direction of the gradient there. So let's see. Let's first reset the rotation. Okay, so if we rotate this 90 degrees maybe move this let's see we should rotate this okay we are rotating it like that we should rotate this with the x with the z going in this direction and uh, that's what we want so this is supposed to be negative 90 okay something like that and uh, this would also use the same texture coordinates I think Instead of doing that, let's just duplicate this and use that. Oh, sorry, this is the noise texture, so. So what we need to use is this here. Check, what we need to check for is this here. So we need to extend this back just a little bit. Yes, so we have that. Now we just need to preview the shader again. Okay. And see, we are getting the same results. So we just need to play with the contrast of the concrete just a bit to make it more powerful. Same with this. I think the ambient occlusion is making these uh, corners a bit too dark, so uh, we can come in, find the ambient occlusion, uh, which should be mixed. Uh, where is it? So this is the base color. Did we use any ambient occlusion here? So let me see. It's here. Mixed here. So we can reduce it down or just reduce uh, its contrast here. 
do the same for this so that those corners are not uh, as dark as they look now we have that and um, so these walls shouldn't be that long as they're just going to be added onto this so so we have that so let's look at the textures of course because just let me see let me see if it has affected i don't think so so you just need to move if you want to use them you just bring them in let's bring that in some reason we have lost uh, the concrete again Look at the mask again. Mm. Okay. And so we'll continue from the next part after I fix uh, that problem there.